Hello Cancer, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you are all are doing wonderful and amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning, thank you very much. Welcome back Cancer, this is a safe place, a safe channel for everyone. And of course your time is very important. It's very valuable to me, so let's get straight into it. Let me clear the deck for you first. I'll be using the Modern Lovers Tarot and I'll be clarifying with the Easy Tarot. So let's get a very good shuffle here for you, Cancer. And as the title of the video suggests um, in the um, image, we are going to be focusing on those that are not in contact. Like there's been a permanent disconnection, like a breakup. The one that broke your heart. But Cancer, I've been saying this with every other star sign. No one can ever break your heart. No one can ever break you, of course not. But in that moment, you know, when you think about the last time you spoke to that person or however you broke up, in that moment, looking back, of course, it felt like this person, indeed, they broke your heart into a million pieces and it feels like there's no way that you could have ever felt whole again. And yet, Cancer, here you are, still standing or sitting, wherever you are. But yeah, let's get some insight. Now, this is an excellent reading for those that are curious, for example, about what else is happening. Um, if you want clarity, if you want closure, perhaps the opportunity to forgive, or maybe some of you still have hope because the situation will be different for every Cancerian watching this. Perhaps you have hope that things indeed can be worked out. All right, let's do this. So let's get some insight. One more, please. I just want to get a good shuffle here for you. Let's get some insight, please, about you and your person, please. Anything else that can... Whoops, that's too much. Thank you. Anything else that Cancer should know about, please, for their highest good. No contact. The one that broke their heart, please. Here we go. Let's get straight into it. All right, what do we have at the bottom of the deck? Oh, wow, wasn't expecting to see that is your energy right there. The Three of Cups so soon. Three of Cups, Cancerian energy. Some of you very well could be dealing with another a fellow Cancerian, could be strong in their chart. Three of Cups here is all about healing. See, the Three of Cups, this particular three, is actually quite promising of the emotional kind because it brings an enormous amount of healing. Um, and I know it, it sucks and it stings. It doesn't matter if it happened yesterday or even a year ago or more than that. Um, we've got some emotional healing that is just kind of injecting. It's still there and it's great. Now, this is the thing. I'm wondering, Cancer, um, do you wish to reconcile with this person? If you haven't thought about that, we have this energy here. Perhaps your person is thinking about reconciling and even just starting off as friends. After all, the Three of Cups, like the Six of Cups, is all about friendship here. This is all about having fun. It's like, oh my God, we're actually together and it's, this is actually more fun than ever. It's about starting slow, letting your hair down, having more fun. I, I do see here, Cancer, you're really kind of focusing now perhaps on your social life or just the need to have a genuine belly laugh here as well. But I do have to tell you though, um, that there is an element here of reconciliation. Let's see. Let's add more on that. Four of Pentacles. That is Capricorn energy. It has been pretty difficult. Not impossible, but it's been of a challenge to let the past go, Cancer. If anything here, I think your person may be thinking about this as well. They haven't approached you. They haven't said it yet. But this is all about kind of not that deep refusal, but it's just been quite a challenge to let the past go, um, let each other go let the relationship go here as well. But the fours are all about planning. So I'm wondering if you are not the one that's planning this, um, definitely this is a sign that perhaps your person is. They just haven't acted upon it yet. There's a bit of inaction here, as you can see. You've got your person perhaps keeping their cards or their heart very close to their chest here and they're not revealing anything to anyone. I think perhaps they're chewing on the idea that they would like reconciliation. Why? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, this is gonna happen, uh, Cancer. The reason why I say that is because we have judgment, that strong Scorpio energy. This is unfinished business. Your person may have had a huge spiritual awakening within them. It's epiphanies. Um, usually this happens when there's been some big changes happening in your person's life. Now, as we can see metaphorically, this relationship is done and dusted. It's buried, right? We have your person, they're trying to bring it back to life. They may ask you for a reconciliation, at least meet up. And they may disguise this saying, let's just be friends. Let's start off as friends. But I'm hearing the word pal. Like, I don't know if your person says that. Let's start off as pals or something. Um, 
I don't really use that word. I say friends, but perhaps your person says, oh, you know, this person's a pal of mine. Yeah, I haven't heard anyone use that in a while. So why do they want to come back? It, Nine of Cups, Pisces Energy. Um, this is a wish fulfillment card. So Cancer, when it comes to this person, what is your wish fulfillment? What is your deepest desire when it comes to this person? It literally could be, I just want to be friends or I want closure. I want that apology. Or maybe you do want to reconcile with them. I mean, there's a lot of cups here. And the more cups I see, well, that's a lot of feelings. That's a, a lot of love there. Mm. What else? Seven of Pentacles. Wow. This is something quite solid and grounded. This is a Taurus energy. And it seems here your person is asking you and you're like, let me think about it. Is the juice worth the squeeze here? Do I want to invest in this? Oh, I wonder what happened to your person for them to actually say, look at that page of pentacles and the lovers. Yeah, it's all about coming together face to face communication here. This is definitely a person thinking, you know what? I would really like to plant the seed, invest in this and nourish this. Watch it grow, grow old with this person. So I feel they promised you a lot in the past and it all kind of just went south. They, they didn't go through with any promise. Ooh, I'm wondering if your friends know this person or I don't know. I kind of feel like in your circle, perhaps everyone knows each other. Let's see. Let's see how these cards connect with all these cards. That was a lot there to process, wasn't it? Well, look at the first line first. What do we have? The five of pentacles, Taurus energy. Mm. Yeah, this person really broke your heart. I can already see that. The Seven of Cups, Scorpio Energy. Mm, they made you feel like an option. I feel like they're asking a lot now when they're coming back. Yeah, and the King of Wands, yeah, they're taking action. Okay. We have abandonment issues here. Very clearly, this person just up and they left. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. I feel like your person also had issues with money. I don't know if you were aware of that. <clears throat> Excuse me, Cancer. I feel like they were kind of... A, like embarrassed or a bit panicky. It's like, oh, how, how am I going to maintain this relationship if I don't have any money, loss, loss of job? Perhaps this person was like, let go, or, you know, fired, for example, loss of hours. Money could have been lost or hemorrhaging, stolen somewhere else. Interesting. I wonder if there was a third party because we have that three. Perhaps it was a meddling friend or family member. Now, unfortunately, your person did a very good job of kind of ghosting you. They may have blocked you. They did a run out. They may have chosen something or someone else over you. Well, they just chose themselves. It's like, you know, what? I don't want to be with anyone. Whatever had happened, they made you feel like an option. That's not good. I'm seeing perhaps they had commitment issues also. Maybe something ended in their life. They weren't ready. They just were not honest with you. No, 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 no. Look at that. The choice will be yours, Cancer, though. Because either whatever's happening here, we have the King of Wands. This is someone now that is like the go-getter. I don't know where they're finding the courage and the confidence here, but they're literally charging towards you here. They want to take control of this situation. I'm almost hearing they want to prove you wrong. I think maybe they know that now you have this feeling about them. It's like, well, this person abandoned me. They're not a good person. And I think they want to prove you wrong. Oof, I think they're asking for a lot, though. Let's get to your second line. Justice. Libra energy. Mm -hmm. Let's get to the beating heart of your reading. This card affects all the other cards. We've got progressive energy with the Ten of Cups now. From the Nine up here, we have the Ten now. Got strong reconciliation here. Ooh. One more, please. The High Priestess, Pisces energy. Ooh, definitely connecting here at a soul level. This is my apology card it's, um, as well. This is also writing all the wrongs that your person has done. Um, now, for some of you, yes, if you know, this can often indicate separation and divorce here. Um, so if you were you know, married to this person, I'm kind of seeing here that, or even if they were cancer, married to someone else, if they were separated, divorcing from someone else, all their money went to legal fees here as well. So that's probably why they were so concerned about their finances here as well. Mm. So this is my apology card. We've got the truth coming out. I think they're going to let you know the truth, why they are just up and they left you. And that still stings here. I think you may be a little bit worried they're going to reopen the wounds and just rub salt in that. So they need to tread very carefully here. They're very sure of what they want, though. And this is definitely making up for lost time, lost love, earning your trust, love and respect back. It's balancing the scales. And look at that in the middle. This can often represent mutual energies. We have some very strong reconciliation here. It's my happily ever after, after all, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They're coming to chase a happily ever after, which is you. 
talks about children, maybe there are children involved. I mean, they li literally could be like small children, teenagers, even adult children. They play a very important factor here. And we have the high priestess. Use your intuition, Cancer, because I have a feeling, I'm inclined to say that your intuition is tapping you, it's tugging at you saying, you know this is not over. You can still feel your person's energy, right? And that's why it makes it, it's a bit of sweet because we get sad thinking, well, why are they not here? No, they're on their way, absolutely. Mm -hmm. The thing is though, that there were secrets. Your person was not being honest in the past. There was a lot of mystery. And I like the high priestess because basically you can read between the lines. You can smell BS a mile away, right? I think you know more than what this person gives you credit for. You may actually finish their sentence saying, I know why you left, for example. But we've got important conversations, sacred knowledge, secrets, everything that was hidden will be revealed, especially because the justice card. Let's look at the last line, shall we? Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Ooh, they want it all with you. We've got a very big hot topic here of commitment, separation and divorce that's happened. So if you were not married to this person, if and they were married to someone else, I'm seeing that there is no more love there. I don't feel there, there was any love. And you got my two favorite tens here. Let's talk about the near future. Yep, the King of Cups, very strong Scorpio energy. Could possibly be a fellow Cancerian or Pisces. We've got two different kings here. We've got three different kings in the outcome. We've got someone that wants to commit to you. Mm, interesting. So you actually may have more than one option and you may be spoilt for choice in the form of opportunities with different people here. But what I'm actually seeing is that 10 of cups, uh, sorry, the 10 of pentacles, your person wishes now to, well, basically commit to you and have it all with you. And I, I really think they're asking a lot from you after what they did. It's almost like they, I don't know, they did a backflip and it's like, hey, I'm back and I want this with you. When even if they were not ready, if it was about timing, they should have been honest with you. Yeah, they want to commit to you. They're going to offer you their cup of love in the near future. This person is going to come back a lot more truthful now, a lot, a lot more loyal. Believe it or not, yes, they're coming back a lot more loyal, empathetic, intuitive, emotionally grounded. This is definitely a family person that they may have their own children, wish to even have their own children here. Um, and yeah, the King of Pentacles this is someone that wants to take care of you financially as well. So they could be working very hard to build up their finances here. Um, I want to clarify these cards though, because I'm not seeing a lot of your energy in this reading. To be honest, um, it's, if, if, if anything, this is all about your person coming towards you. Yeah, we've got the Fool. That's Aries energy, the first card, unnumbered of the Major Arcana here. They're going to take that Leap of Faith and the Strength card. Leo energy, they're going to find that inner strength, their courage, those inner reserves here of strength to face you. They definitely could have, have issues in the past with their self-esteem and confidence, just feeling that we're not good enough for you. Highlighted message there, that just nearly came out of my hand. All right, here we go. Let's look at the highlighted message. This is definitely going to be about your person. King of Pentacles twice now. Yeah, I, I'm wondering, this person in the past was either committed or married. I'm definitely seeing they're not with that person anymore. But you see, now we have this particular king looking to the future now, that they would like to commit to you. Ooh, this could have been about timing, to be honest. I feel like your person doesn't like confrontation as well. Bottom of the deck, five of wands. Mm, there's a lot of arguing here. Um, I feel here that your person is, a, they don't want to trigger you. In fact, I have a feeling that they're inclined to think here that, that you're very angry with them, that you're very peeved off with them. Yep. I think they're coming back with a plan. I just saw the king once and I saw I'm coming with a plan. Um, just so they've got the best chance of you saying yes and not saying no to them. There was definitely a lot of people around this connection I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, competition for, their person, for your person's attention here in the past. This definitely could be an ex. The reason why I'm saying that is because we have the queen of swords, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm wondering if whatever third party was here, they, I think they know you and they're quite... That could be jealous, that could be peeved off with you, that, you know, oh, you took my person away, for example, even though they were getting a divorce here, or separating. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of reconciliation. You've got the Six of Cups, Scorpio energy. Yeah, they're very nostalgic over you. They can't stop thinking about you. Three of Wands, Aries energy, waiting for the right time to approach you. And here we go, the Four of Wands, Aries energy. So we've got reconciliation, we've got celebration, we've got commitment, we've got marriage. So that's a very big hot topic here when it comes to cancer is commitment or marriage. 
And I always say slash marriage because we don't all have to get married, right? Some of us don't want to get married. We can just be in a committed relationship. Either way, you cannot lose here. I mean, this person really wants it all with you. Let's talk about that five of pentacles. This person clearly, they just left you high and dry. And you know what? That sucks. Nobody deserves that. Let's add more on that. Yeah, the moon. Pisces, Cancer energy. There, you know what? The, the reason, they may have given you a reason or not even given you a reason. Either way, they've never told you the truth. Not everything is as it seems. And your intuition is saying there is more to this. And I think you probably know the real reason why. Even if you don't have solid evidence, I think you know why they left. See, the moon can often indicate um, a secret love affair. Not everything is as it seems. Things were under wraps here um, as well. I feel like your person had was afraid. That talks about internal fears and anxieties about this connection. I'm almost inclined to say that your person's self-esteem, you may have picked this up, it was rock bottom. And I think they were afraid that you were going to leave them as well. I just feel like the person doesn't feel like they're good enough for you. Oh, they really need to work on this. The seven of cups here. Ten of cups twice. The choice will be yours. Do you want reunion? Do you want this person? Are they your happily ever after? We got it twice here. Very strong indication here. We're having that rainbow of happily ever after, of meeting again in the middle, of celebrating. Mm, the king of wands. This person is rushing towards you. Let's add more. The empress. Beautiful Taurus. Possibly Libra energy here. Yeah. Again, um, I, I, listen, I am picking up some several messages here. One, of course, is that they wish to give birth to this connection once more. It's like the cornucopia here of abundance. The Empress is the most abundant, creative and most fertile card here. They definitely may want children with you. I'm seeing a lot of pregnancy here for, um, for my Divine Feminines watching this. Um, but yeah, they could also have been having trouble here with the Divine Feminine, like the mother of their children here as well. I love how they're seeing you though. Very accomplished, independent, creative, abundant. All of this. They secretly, they want all of this with you. They want it all. Just, it almost sometimes doesn't make sense of what they did in the past because they, they still, they love you more than ever. They're holding you up here in high regard, but then why did they do that? This definitely could have been someone or something preventing them and they never told you the truth about that. Yeah, there's a lot of mystery. Let's talk about the justice card. Five of Pentacles again. Yeah, it seems that, I hate to say when you got the raw end of the deal, I hate saying that, but it was very unfair. It was unjust. I feel like you probably never saw this coming and you were pretty blindsided. I'm almost getting like tower-like um, energy there, Scorpio energy. Yep. Something's happening with your person's finances. I can already see it. Money's being hemorrhaged, stolen. They're probably being used for the finances here. Yeah, could be going towards legal fees. Mm, yeah. I'm really sorry what happened, Cancer, because I just feel that things are going great and then boom, they just left. And you're like, what just happened? Did I say something? Did I do something? You never got your answer. And that's what really hurts is that they did unfortunately a good job of making you feel that that for some reason that you were not loved, that you were not good enough. There's some a lot has happened here, Cancer, that you're still not aware of. Yep. Yeah. Let's talk about that Ten of Cups. Ace of Wands. I want a passionate new start with you on top of the Ten of Cups. They are asking for a lot, Cancer. I'm going to be honest. They're asking for a tremendous amount of a piece of your heart here because, you know, from abandoning, it's like, hey, can we have a brand new start? That's probably why they're going to say, let's start off as friends. The High Priestess is clarified by the Six of Wands, Leo energy. Yeah, see, this is talks about, I mean, the Sixes are all about healing, but it does talk about personal victory where it is not assured, like, how could I say this? No, let me backtrack. The Six of Wands says that this success is assured, but it's not going to happen overnight. And not everyone will be clapping. After all, look at that, that person there in the shadows, that's the jealousy person. That's the Seven of Swords. Not everyone will be clapping. No. Nope. So I'm wondering this third party, I hope they're not hanging around. They shouldn't. If your person's moved away from them, I feel like they have perhaps a legal obligation to them though. But yeah, I feel here that's, how could I say this? I, your person, I kind of wish they wouldn't tell everyone what's going on in their life or they're not going to tell, hey, I'm going back to cancer. I want, you know, reconciliation. I love cancer and all that. Um, yeah, just cancer. I think you already know this. Not everybody has to know what's going on. It's okay to keep things a bit of a mystery, but I'm definitely seeing some form of slow success here. This is what they want. Let's talk about that Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, the Hierophant. 
This is my commitment card. It's my marriage card. It's ruled by um, Taurus here. Well, you know what? I, this person, I just feel they just upped and they left. They left you high and dry. I'm sorry to say that. I know it sounds very dramatic here, but you know, we've got something to do with a very strong commitment or marriage. And then your person just left that this is all pointing to commitment and marriage. This is what your person wants, but they're afraid that you're going to say no to them. They could be getting some wise counsel here, or at least some advice from someone a bit more experienced here about how to approach you, about how to start over again with you. I'm seeing more counseling. That's why the King of Cups in the near future is clarified by the Five of Swords, Aquarius energy. Mm. I don't see you rushing back to this person. I'm going to be very honest because I left a very bad, sour taste in your mouth and your last memory of them was like this. I mean, this is already showing me. I mean, the fives are all about changes, challenges, transitions, but it's also about regret. There could have been a lot of gossip around this um, connection. Uh, I feel that your person also probably took some very bad advice here from a family member or from a friend. You know, they could have said, oh, you know, you're getting out of this mess. You really want to just jump into another relationship and your person listened to them. I feel like a person really knows they need to be their own person here and they're trying to come back to you. They really are. But you see, this is pretty one sided towards the end. They could even be breadcrumbing you or giving you false hope, false wishes that they never went through. So, yes, they're coming back genuine, but I don't feel that you trust them 100 percent. Let's talk about the King of Pentacles in the outcome. Use your intuition again. The High Priestess, there's still a lot of mystery around this person. I pretty much don't like that. The fact that there's still a lot of secrets. There's still a lot of stuff here that they're keeping to themselves. Now, perhaps they're saying they're doing that because they don't want to turn you off, but they're still going to take that leap of faith here. The fool. Yep, they're going to do it. They're going to do it. The Knight of Swords. One more, please. Three of Pentacles. Mm, they want to be Team Cancer. This is the thing, though. We have the Justice card. Um, and we also have the High Priestess. We've got certain things that were hidden, they're all going to be revealed here. I feel here that they're going to have to not work. They're going to have to super duper work here to earn your trust back. Because that five of swords, that five of pentacles, I don't like how they conducted themselves in the end. Now, they may have said, I love you, I wanted this and I want that with you. And what doesn't make sense still, what rubs me the wrong way is why did they just up and they leave, left you? They didn't even contact you. And that really hurts here. And now they're coming back. I think you're questioning, why are you back now? And I don't blame you, Cancer. I'd be questioning this as well. They do want to give you some form of clarity. There is something here. Let me just get some cards from the Romance Angels. Let me see. What is it that they want you to know? Whoops. Thank you. That one. Yep. Yeah. yeah, see, we need a heart-to-heart -heart conversation here. It's saying this could be the one. Although I think you're questioning that. Is this person, you know, could they be the one? Yeah, they're hoping that you're going to give them another, a chance. Work on this. I think this is going to be the key. Talking, coming together. What else do we have? Mm, stay optimistic about your love life. I feel like your person is trying to. But see, trust. Yeah, the, the situation is calling you for, to have faith. But trust here, I think that's a big one here. Do you really trust this person? There, I knew there was issues with your person's finances and their career. Yeah, I feel this is probably something they're probably not going to tell you straight away. They could be embarrassed or think I'm not good enough for cancer. But um, this is the key. This having this um, heart to heart conversation, I think it will open doors for you. Absolutely, because they're rushing in here. They want to be part of your team with that three of pentacles. Wow. I'm sorry what happened, cancer. I do appreciate that they want to make things right, though. Absolutely. Um, but of course, trust has been severed. Of course. I mean, what did they expect after what they did? Yes. They're asking for a lot. So cancer, maybe having this conversation now coming together, it will offer clarity. Um, and of course, the decision will be yours. And you are always in a position of power. Always. No one can take that away from you, cancer. So this is what I have. Um, I will see you in the next couple of days, cancer. And I thank you for joining me. And I really hope that this conversation will, it will just offer an enormous amount of healing for you. Take care, Cancer. Bye.